there are three weeks left to go before election day. And I know that there are some of you out there who are not convinced that you should vote. Uh, and you're thinking of sitting it out. You're not enthusiastic about Biden. 130 million people vote. What difference will your one vote make? Well, let me, if I might, give you five reasons, very briefly, why, in my view, it is absolutely imperative that you do vote. First, and maybe the most important reason, I want you to think about this. Donald Trump and the Republican leadership don't want you to vote. Right now, they are engaging in an unprecedented level of voter suppression. All across this country, they are doing everything that they can, including trying to destroy the United States Postal Service in order to keep you from voting. Why is that? Why don't they want working people and young people and people of color and to be voting? And the answer is they know that if you do vote and you elect a progressive administration and members of Congress, we're going to raise the minimum wage. We're going to have equal pay for equal work. We're going to create millions of jobs transforming our energy system away from fossil fuel. We're going to create a situation where when young people leave college, they're not deeply in debt. We're going to reform a broken and racist criminal justice system and a very terrible, unfair immigration system. They know that. That's why they don't want you to vote. They don't want you to vote so that we can move toward health care for all as a human right. So think hard. If somebody doesn't want you to do something, they got a reason for it. And you should understand that and maybe do exactly the opposite of what they want. Second of all, and on a very simple level, do you really want to continue to have for four more years a president of the United States who is a pathological liar, who lies every single day about everything. And that undermines everything that this country stands for. Look, we can have differences of opinion, but those differences have to be based on fact. And Trump does not respect the facts. He does not respect the truth. It has been documented by the media that he has lied some 20,000 times since he is president of the United States. We cannot continue to be a great country, the most powerful country on earth, when you have a president who lies all of the time. He has got to go. Third, your very well-being, your health, your safety, is being undermined by an administration that does not believe in science. We have lost tens and tens of thousands of people in this country because of the COVID pandemic as a result of Trump's irresponsibility, his rejection of science. And the same is true for climate change. When you come to issues like the coronavirus and climate change, we need to base policy based on science. And in both of these cases, Trump has rejected science. So if you're worried about your own health, if you're worried about the future of this planet, if you're worried about the fact that the scientists are telling us that climate change is an existential threat to the planet and we've got to transform our energy system, understand that four more years of Trump in the White House are going to endanger all of us in terms of our personal health and in terms of the climate. Fourth, this is an administration that has, at the most basic level, ignored the needs of the middle class and working families of this country. Trump and his friends in Congress have given over a trillion dollars in tax breaks to the 1% and large corporations. That's who they are working for. And meanwhile, right now, as of today, they are desperately trying to repeal the Affordable Care Act and throw over 20 million people off of the health care that they currently have. Their budgets, the budget of the Trump administration, call for massive cuts to Medicaid, Medicare, and Social 
security, education, environmental protection, nutrition, you name it. If it's the needs of working families, cut, cut, cut. If it's the needs of the rich, help, help, help. And at a time of massive income and wealth inequality, when we should be moving toward a Medicare for all program, guaranteeing health care to all of us, do you really want a president who's going to be working to throw more and more people off of the health care that they have? Fifth, this is an administration, Trump administration, that is undermining American democracy, that does not believe in our Constitution or the rule of law. Do you really want to keep in office a president who, when asked whether he would step down, if he loses the election, does not give you an answer, who tells us that the only way he is going to can lose this election is if the election is rigged. Meanwhile, he's behind, sometimes by double digits, in every national poll that I have seen. Do you really want to continue somebody in office who has that view of rejecting the will of the people? So we got three weeks to go in the most important election, not just in our lifetimes, but I believe in the modern history of this country, going back probably to the 1864 election in the Civil War. This is an election in which we must defeat Trump. We must work as hard as we can to elect progressives to every level of government. We need to make sure the Democrats control the United States Senate and retain control in the House. So I would hope that every viewer out there is prepared to do everything they can. That means not only voting yourself, getting your friends, your neighbors, your family members, drag them out if you have to. But this is an election in which we all together have got to work as hard as we can in the next three weeks to defeat Donald Trump. Thank you.